think, uh, thanks and uh, be, be patient because uh, my English is almost Italian, so I don't know what <laughs> will happen. As usual, anyway. Uh, our is a little bit large, uh, large group of collaboration, uh, but was uh, something happen. Okay, so um, our work uh, make some uh, big jump in science away. Two years before, after conference in Japan, ECF20, uh, because um, we realize uh, the, the key point is to maximize non-equilibrium situ situation. We have always such kind of, uh, of thinking uh, idea, but never so clearly def define it. So uh, we move from uh, isoperibolic calorimetry that by, by itself maximizes non-equilibrium condition to flow calorimetry is very, very flat, regular, and it almost kill the efforts, almost. So we have to, to find a procedure to have some HSEAT even in the flow calorimetry uh, with a new procedure. So the new procedure was uh, based on using uh, knots on the wires. We had several, several, several knots. Here I will explain in detail how, how, how to, make, to make it. We give uh, some uh, key result, just for example, and some conclusion, obviously. Uh, a lot, a lot of people, mainly because uh, this year I have to retire because uh, according to the law, I, was, I work too much, 45 years, so I have to go home. But I, don't, I, I, di I didn't want, so several people uh, helped me to avoid this bad uh, end. One was a uh, Nobel, Brian, Brian Josephson, he wrote a open letter, and he made efforts. More, moreover, uh, one political group in Italy, such people are, uh, um, they like, Called, called the fusion, so they went to the, lab to the laboratory and uh, pushed my, my president that I can work in my laboratory without money, obviously, and then at the end uh, I got success. And okay, so I have to, to thank them, really. They helped me a lot. Introduction. Um, uh, we use uh, a non-conventional material. It, it is uh, constantan, it's a uh, alloy kappa, kappa nickel, manganin, uh, mainly from Itzotan uh, company, from Itzotan name, from Isabella Youth Germany. Instead of usual uh, palladium, titanium, nickel. Constantan means constant value of resistance, changing temperature. Moreover, uh, we think, that, uh, we make some uh, guess, there was a hidden factor in the few, I think few, uh, good results obtained from uh, Andrea Rossi and Brian Iron in their work in the United States about 2010. But I think they didn't realize the key point. But just was our, our guess. Anyway, because we got some uh, success about such kind of, of idea, uh, last year at uh, ASTI workshop, uh, manager from uh, Bill Collis, we say everything to everybody, all the details. So it makes some, some, some effort. Uh, some weeks later, Itali Italian Army asked me to give a talk, very long talk, I don't know how many hours, at uh, office, public talk. And later it uh, was uh, a... Um, formal um, ceremony because uh, 70 years of Andy uh, is an Italian uh, association for inventors and they give a very long talk, even two. And this Andy is uh, under the chair of our president of the Republic, so maybe important, I hope. So the point is, uh, we, what is the, the key material? Why? So this, we think, in the Rossi effect, it was just the thermocouple used to measure the temperature. In their operating uh, regime, 
te jeb JTAP te temo kapol means iron cost tantan moroba tis ai temo kapol usually low cost it's some glass sheet for insulation purpose and moroba think of the thermal cycle and so on the sheet glass can be damaged and it helps Later one, we have uh, a good, very, very good news uh, in June 2011. We, we found then 12 years before a Poland uh, group uh, using a supercomputer uh, found that the Constantin is the best, best material for hydrogen dissociation, even better than usual palladium. There is a, this list taking from the paper. So another good, good point. Good marker, who is? No. Lighter, who is? Which? OK. No. Something wrong happened. OK. Another good, good point. The value of uh, energy given is almost constant, even changing largely the composition the composition. So it is really important because we don't have a control of the composition of the, of the material. So really, in this range, better than palladium itself, 0.2, 0. 0.4. So really it was like a, a present. Um, moreover, uh, in some uh, to 12, we want to know that Brian Iron has filed a patent, maybe not well known uh, from other people, that they say the copper nickel is a good candidate to put in a nose heat, especially at the nanometric dimension, or alternating layers copper nickel. So it was what we are doing. Um, to get um, this, this effort, we have some experience in high power, high power pulsing since 1995 with the palladium, palladium wires. So we have, uh, uh, use the same approach, but even with larger power, to have uh, a pulser with an extremely large value of power given, 15, 20 kilovolts ampere for gram of material. Moreover, the, the pulse is very fast, as time less than one, one microsecond. So skin effect means all the energy is concentrated at the surface of the wire. It's what we want. And moreover, because of such a kind of procedure repeated, we have multi-layer. So what uh, Brian say is a good uh, aspect. Uh, the procedure, because also quenching, is similar to a rather process uh, melt spinning, melt spinning, but uh, with uh, lower cost. Uh, Arata has very good control of uh, dimensionality, uh, 215 nanometers. We have something mixed, mixed of material. But we want this because if material is all homogeneous, it's easy to have sintering. So you have several cows, we see. If you behave like Italian people, very, very chaotic. So nobody can control. So definitely they can match each other. The weak point is that the active material, the face of the wire, um, fall down from the wires because uh, chickling low high temperature. Then what, what, when it happens, the material go away. So it just it disappear. Um, again, thinking about non-equilibrium, uh, we use, introduce the knots because the knots locally are places where the temperature is different from the flight region. So knots really make a big, big progress to our uh, experiment. Here I have some sample later we, you, can, you can see. And moreover, uh, using thin wires, uh, we have a possibility to enter in the Neman effect 
so mm, enhanced uh, catalytic effects just due to the voltage drop along the wire. It was uh, developed from uh, by Vienna in 1906, but really the first people to observe this one it was 1908 in Germany. Very, very old, but nobody know. Um, this is the procedure how to make wires. A little bit complicated, time, time consuming, but at the end it, it works well. In the center of the wire there is a, a reference other wire, 200 micron, so we have uh, controlled the dimension of the holes. Another sketch of our reactor. The, um, the, power, the power pulse, uh, I thought this very, very powerful. Uh, it is a capacitor bank, 6,600 6, uh, microfarad, in some way similar to hot fusion approach. Very big power bank. And, but it's just to change the surface of a very thin wire. But the idea was really the same. Fast rise, uh, rise time, so skin effect. Enough large repetition rate, so we don't wait uh, several days just to prepare a, a wire. This is a um, mm, photo made from a fast camera during pulsing preparation. At the beginning, the wire is uh, black, nothing. Second, a pulse change color. Maybe if you can reduce the light, I can be seen better. Reduce light? No? Okay. Can be see better? Luminous? The third one, change time. So you see area with very, very luminous, where are knots, and the more regular. So uh, the pulse move strongly the wire, oscillate. Okay. And now is uh, the end of the pulse, so it's uh, going cold and finish. Uh, so the key point is where are knots, the temperature is higher than the normal wire. It's key point. So this is a picture of an oscilloscope about the voltage current given. This is a short piece of wire for, uh, just for demonstration. So the energy given is about 800 joule per gram of material. So the pulsar is really dangerous. Better don't touch him. <laughs> so bye bye. <laughs> Um, so the power is to have enough, uh, enough, uh, the pulse enough power to can uh, increase the temperature of the wire in a very, very short time. So from a calculation, uh, we need about 450 joule. We have 800, so it's enough, because there are several leakage uncontrolled. Um, moreover, we make some cross-check if there is difference between the normal wire, uh, not area, and uh, regular. Okay, this is a wire of Constantin, just warmed in air uh, for uh, 300 seconds at 600 degree. The structure is quite regular. The second, at the top of the, of the knobs, the changing is really dramatic, really dramatic. At the third, in the area between knots. So some, some pace collapse each other, so contact. And uh, so this is uh, again comparison using EDX analysis. And what we found is really useful for, for us. In the reference point, the ratio between uh, copper and nickel, 44%, 32%, more or less as expected. 
on the knots surface, kappa 58 and nickel 5%. So just one tenth. It drop really giant value. And this is in the, um, between nodes area, something intermediate. So there is a proof that uh, the pulse make a chemical composition variation of the, the wire. It is good to avoid sintering. So we have an instrumental check that we are, what we were thinking is correct. At that point is uh, the um, active material, how, 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 five minutes, ten, when? Five minutes, okay, okay, okay. <coughs> so the material uh, uh, loss, the active section, so we put inside the glassy sheet, but the glass from itself is uh, help for the, for the reaction. Because uh, borosilicate uh, has the special ability to absorb atomic hydrogen. This was found from Nobel Prize um, Langmuir, 1927. Just one page uh, paper. And uh, moreover, we have uh, several indications that uh, um, ele electrons have a good effect. So we had uh, strontium oxide also following uh, the initial experiment of uh, Iwamura. So low work infection, and it works. Okay, this is uh, the work of Langmuir. I skip several. But uh, um, the iron uh, is useful because as the uh, key behavior of absorbed hydrogen at high temperature, 600, 700, and the load at the lower temperature. So it's another factor to have non-equilibrium condition. We need flux, as pointed out uh, Mike McCubre several years before. So I think flux is necessary, but we do make flux without adding energy to the system. So several factors. Okay. Uh, this is the new colorimeter. Uh, is inside a big uh, box insulated with aluminum for a screener. Uh, this is the reactor, this is the calibration. The calibration. Uh, this is a very simple uh, measurement. The calibration, this is the ratio between different temperature out, mean means divide power. The green is calibration. The second experiment was made using uh, um, the constant 100 micron, and uh, so the difference is really <coughs> clear, <laughs> no doubt about. But this point uh, was 100 watt, about 1.1 ampere to the wire. Abruptly, uh, the temperature increased, a giant value, but after something wrong happened, like uh, a, a electric uh, pulse, the computer locked everything and the wire broken. So, uh, but this happened two times, so uh, the first time it can be coincidence. When you go too much power, uh, so you have, we have to move the second wire, 200, more, uh, more, more robust. More or less, uh, we have a similar behavior, but less efficient in respect to 100 micron. So we have uh, several uh, thinking about one is the voltage, voltage drop is larger for T wire, or some other idea, but now maybe not enough time to discuss. Um, there is uh, some uh, deeper analysis about uh, observation of the data, so we cross check theory and facts, but uh, just for uh, be sure. Um, so, the, this last experiment, we have a lot of heat. So it was so large that uh, this glass inside was a, bor a alumina sheet for protection. So large the temperature that melted the glass. Melted. 
things like uh, shadow <laughs> of the wire. So, really big, big numbers, I think. Conclusion, um, our is uh, to have small dimension, a thin as possible to have an MK effect voltage drop. Um, moreover, the procedure of using a pulse is cross-check it with doing a video camera, same analysis, EDX analysis, and overall, it's just it. And uh, we, now we are um, starting, a new, we started a new experiment, and we are, with thin wire, we are going to the maximum power, step by, by step, and observe, try to understand why at some critical value, the chest power go really very large value, but the wire break. I think I finish. Thank you. Okay, thank you. We have, have time for one question. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, maybe it won't. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Francesco? Yes. Thank you for the microphone. Um, what I was um, trying to replicate your wires preparation, um, yes. uh, I saw also some strong resonant effects while applying large quantity of energy to a very thin wire. And uh, so I just wanted to mention that for people that want to replicate that experiment. I think it's good to have this resonant effect during the wire preparation when you're heating up the wire very rapidly with large quantity of current. Okay. Uh, DI over DT. Okay, thank you. Let that if people want to.